This half century old black walnut is gone. It wasn't a storm that took it out, but tiny beetles who brought along a fungus that ate away at the bark. This is the very first time it's ever been found east of the Mississippi. The tree suffers from an ailment new to this area called Thousand Cankers Disease. Other nearby walnuts may also have been affected. What it's going to do here is, is a mystery at this point, but um, it is definite cause for concern. The disease is named for the cankers, these black spots you see here. So there's one, there's one, there's one. There are also signs landowners can look for in walnuts. This disease apparently starts at the top and works its way down. So if you notice some dead branches in the upper part of your tree, but the lower part seems pretty healthy, that's a symptom. Thousand cankers disease was first diagnosed in the western U.S. Now this outbreak in Tennessee is the first time it's been spotted east of the Great Plains states. And it's not the only thing threatening our trees here. This ash tree was attacked by the emerald ash borer, an exotic beetle that only infests this particular species. Recently, a few damaged ash trees were discovered on the Knox-Loudoun County line. It's the first report in Tennessee, and most of the movement has not been natural movement. That is, the beetles haven't been flying and spreading hundreds of miles. They've been moving in firewood or in wood products. Plant pathologist Beth Long of UT Extension says we're getting rid of the infested trees, but the beetles may still do more damage. Well, we're hoping not to see more of it. We have cut down and removed the trees that are infested. They've been burned and we are, are hopeful that that might take care of it. Black walnut produces nuts for food, but the wood is also used for furniture and flooring. The same goes for the 200 million ash trees in Tennessee, with a value estimated at $9 billion. They are now at risk. We've got both economic impact and environmental in impact. Uh, you know, both of those species are, are very important in our forest. UT's Dr. Scott Schlarbaum says both invasive pests may have arrived here in a firewood delivery and warns people to be careful when stockpiling wood this coming fall. What I would say to the people of Tennessee is please don't move your firewood around. And if anybody brings firewood into the state, uh, you need to probably call the Tennessee Division of Forestry. Thousand Cankers disease was a nasty surprise for foresters, but EAV was anticipated. We don't want to see barren limbs this time of year, but these pests could cause more tree deaths if not contained now. This is Chuck Denny reporting.